doing is seeing what wad works the best with nine pellet double lot, which is actually 32 cal in these because that's what most factory double lot is. But we have seven different varieties. We'll run some over a chrono. Well, these over a chrono. They have no buffer. You see the velocity. And then we're going to pattern these seven, and we will read the wads off as we go. But six of them have 23 of a lot unique. Sorry, 24 of a lot unique. And the last one has 16 grains of Winchester Super Handicap. And that one, is my prediction, is going to be the best performer. But uh, we're using the Panzer M4 with an improved cylinder choke. And then we'll step off to uh, 10 yards and see how they actually pattern. But uh, let's get into it. Rolling. Alrighty, guys. At first, we have this one here. It's loaded with 16 grains of AA Super Handicap. It's got a multi-metal wad in it with a half inch of felt and then nine pellets of double lot. We're at 42 yards. Let's see how fast it is and how it patterns. Uh, we wanted to see how this one patterns with an IC choke at 42, but then we'll uh, shoot somewhere else with the rest of them. Oh, you ready? Yep. 936. Uh, misreading. Or that could be right. Well, guys, um... It's almost as good as the flight control, the ones we had anyway. How many pellets is there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. And I'm nine? gonna assume eight and nine right there. Yeah, those that one right there at the bottom is definitely a fresh impact, so definitely eight. Oh, look right here, nine. Oh, there it is. All nine, just a fairly wide spread. Yeah. But uh, let's run the rest of them over a chrono. Now the data on those a lot unique, 24 grains. It said it's about 1155 FPS, but we'll see what we get out of the Panzer. Recording. Okay, guys. So the rest of these all have 24 grains of a line unique. And the wads change. Everything else is the same, but it's all nine pellets of 32 cal. No buffer in these. In a uh, brand new prime two and three quarter inch Fiocchi. This is the Clay Buster Orange Wad. It's actually called the CB0118-12, but let's see what it does. See the speed on it. Oh. 1,080. The data says 1155, but I don't know what barrel length they tested it out of. That's 1080. This is the Clay Buster Federal 12S3 clone. Everything else is the same. 1177, that's a good speed. This one is the Downrange DRXL118. Eleven thirty. This is all changing velocity on the wad. Yeah. And this one is the BP1220. Eleven eighty six. The downrange DRF three, which is another Federal twelve S three clone. Why do they like making them things pink? I uh, the Federals were pink. Hmm. I think the downrange twelve uh, S three clones are now red, actually. But let's see what this one is. Ten eighty three. That was the BP twelve twenty, and this last one is the. Clay and game A21 wad. But, uh, last one here. 1059. Great speeds for home defense, all of them are. Now let's pattern these. 10 yards. Alrighty, guys. The only thing that's changed on this one to start off with is it has buffer. But this wad here is the DR, DR F3, the downrange 12x3 clone, basically. Uh, this is the beginning of the patterning segment, I suppose. We're doing these at random aside from the last one, which will be the multi-metal. Turn this dot on here. Ooh. That's a really good pattern. For home defense, yeah, sure is. Good boy. It's all nine. It looks like a maybe an eight by eight. Looks we'll like see it, when yeah. we get down here. Uh no idea where the haul went, but guys, these are all about nine thousand PSI, so no real need to look at the halls. Yeah, it's kind of gone. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's here in the garden. 
but the pattern is pretty good. Well, it struck pretty good too. Yeah. That hurt his ribs or tickle his belly. <laughs> tickle your innards like Mountain Dew. That's right. But we've got all nine. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'd say the ninth one's stuck in the wads while it yeah. carried through like that. But Yeah, that's a big hole. I'd say a pellet was in that. But all in all, real good pattern. What's it measure? Uh, looks like it is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 by 10. 10, by 10. Roughly. Well, let's uh, see what the next one has. All right, guys. Next up is the Clay Buster Federal 12S3. And everything else is the same. We are using an improved cylinder choke because that's what most people use for home defense. But in my, well, what I would do is I'd use a full or at least a mod. But let's see how this does. The same. <laughs> Literally the same. It looks like he's not wrong. They impacted about the same dang spots. But I think the pattern is, the size is exactly the same too. I mean, the pellets are within a quarter inch literally on the same exact spread as the other ones. You'll see when we get down here. They are both uh, 12S3 clones. Yep. It looks like all 12S3s are created equal. <laughs> when we get down here, you'd be like, ooh. Actually, the downrange doesn't have the ribs inside the pedals. But, I mean, it's all in a circle. You can see the tape spots there. That's from the last one I shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All nines there. It might actually be a little bit wider this way than yours. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. By one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. An eight by twelve. Yeah. That's that's right on par with the one Josh fired. Mine was a ten by ten. Yeah, that's that a little was bit little wider, more of an oval. but a little bit shorter. Or a little more rectangular, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, neither one of them would serve you dang well. But uh, let's move on. Alrighty, guys. Up next, we have the DR XL one one eight. Everything else is the same. Yep. Ten yards, still using improved cylinder. The one I fired to uh, get the chrono reading almost failed. Almost. Come on now. There we go. That's Once the best again, one so far. I believe wads don't change nothing. <laughs> no, that one looks a little bit tighter. Yeah. No, uh, that looks like an 8x8 eight eight actually. Yeah. Let's check it out. I don't know if that's a good buckshot wad though because the one I fired... Um, Almost failed. We'll see. This one's laying right down here in front of the paper. We'll see how it fared. I do believe this one is a touch tighter. Oh, oh uh, that's not it. That's a water tape. Yep. Anyways, that one went through. <laughs> we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And it looks like they're in a one, two, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve by ten. I guess that's our biggest one yet, but still. It looked the tightest down there, but yeah, it's the biggest one so far. It's got the most holes in the middle. Yeah. That big old hole right there makes it look a little tighter than it is, though. It that yeah, that's what it is, yeah. But I mean, it's still usable, still great. Very usable. With a full choke, they'd probably be all like with that size. Actually, probably even tighter. Hmm. Here you go. Did you find it? Yep, yeah. I see it. Blue, a cobalt blue stands out in green real well. Yeah. Did it fail almost too? Very, very, very close. Like there might be a sea hair's thickness left there. <laughs> That one did come through. What's Started the, rubbing uh, the barrel. Base of the uh, shot cup look like. Bad. Just the gas seal. The base of the shot. Not bad. Flip it over. Oh, actually, that held up a lot better than the first one. It seems to be okay for buckshot, but compared to the downrange 12s3 clone, though, it's it don't have the ribs in the pedal. It's also chewed up pretty bad though. On the pedal section. It is, yeah. These pedals might be too thin for buckshot. Okay, look at the bottom. They almost come through the... Yup. Guys, it looks like the downrange wads just aren't... They're soft. Yeah, they're, they're really soft. 
they'd probably work real good for a shot, which they're working exceptionally well for this. Just not experience a little bit of lead filing. Right. Let's see what's next. Okay, so next up is the BP-1220. Uh, Josh did find the Claybuster 12S3, and it held up pretty good. Let's see what the BP-1220 can do. Uh, about the same. Nope. Safety on, red dot off. Let's have a look at it. Zap, zap, oh no. You gotta lean it against the post. I'm gonna set it down right here. <laughs> Alrighty, we're recording. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all nine pellets in a. Let's see. That's the farthest one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine and a half by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine and a half by nine. That one's actually the tightest so far. Yeah. Not bad at all. Good coverage. Let's uh, see what's next. Alrighty, guys. Up next, we have the Claybuster Orange Wad or the CB0118-12. Everything else is the same. That's my favorite target wad for 12-gauge tapered hulls. Seems like we use it a lot. We, we do. I shot a little over this way, too, but the paper is getting chewed up because they're all the same size. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Next, we're going to start going to the right or the left, though. Yep. But once again, another, that looks like that might be the largest pattern so far, but yeah, all uh, in all though, still a really good pattern. There ain't none in the center. I had kind of high hopes for that one. Does real well with shot. It done real well there though. I mean, for what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it looks like they're in a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 by 12. That's our biggest, but yeah. it's only our biggest by two inches on the uh, vertical. So yeah. it's still right in there with the rest of them. Yeah, but there's nothing in the center. That's, that's the okay, though, because look, that's a heart. That's a lung. That's a, that's a throat. Yeah. That's your innards. <laughs> I mean... Even if you hit low, that's the family Kneel jewels. Down there. Centered up on your chest. Yeah, there you go. Like I said, that still covers. All of them. Yes. Not bad. I mean, 10 yards is a kind of long shot for home defense anyway. Everybody tells you seven, but right. there's no real set distance. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. So, the last target wad is the Clay and Game A21. And uh, let's see how it does. I turned my dot off by accident. Okay, that one actually might be the tightest. That looks really good. All in a circle, too. Anyway, Josh has the multi-middle. I have the only one that's not a target wad. Or, I guess, whatever you call them, anyways. And it is a multi-middle. I'm going to put it over here to the left. Mailman, it's okay, though. Because we are done. And that put a hole in the paper. Yep. So, with the multi-metal, it didn't do quite as well as I thought it would, but it's still the best one of the day. Minus the one flyer down here, that is an 8x6. All nine pellets are accounted for. Now, moving over here to the A21, we have a 10x10. 10 10, all nine pellets accounted for, and they are in a pretty good circular spread with three in the middle. That is probably my favorite pattern of the day for the regular target style. But this right here was once again an 8x6, which is a little bit better. Now, obviously, going with a mod choke or full or even extra full, that would probably be the size of a baseball, maybe a little bit smaller. Either way, all of these will suffice. They did pretty well. Again, personally, I would rather use a full choke but that's just me. You guys can do whatever you want to do. I don't even use double lot for home defense. I use lead BBs. But anyway, pretty interesting video. There is a wasp trying to attack me, so check out the Patreon, merch store, all that stuff in the description, Instagram, Rumble, and uh, thanks for watching. Cue outro.